Hey Clubbers, it's Amy and I'm here at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the studio that I'm staying in. Okay, so here we are in studio number 544 on the fifth floor. This is a standard view studio. Um, this is a little bit of a different layout. I'll show you because we are kind of tucked away into this little nook here. And so rather than walking in and having the room kind of in front of you, you walk in and the room is that you have the bathroom across from you and then the room is to the right. So this is the bathroom um it's got a lot of counter space and it only has these two thin shelves and um it has a, it had a spare toilet paper roll when we came in that was right here but i moved that into the bathroom to give us more um, shelf space and also to put the toilet paper where it would be most conveniently located if you needed it so this unit has the rainfall shower head um, kind of step in shower here just a little lip and it has the bench the wall mounted um, shampoo conditioner and body wash it also has the handheld shower head um, some of the studios that i've seen have a bathtub and shower rather than this type of shower so not really sure why the difference, but what I, I love the mirrors in here, this backlit with the, with the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. This is a Sleeping Beauty themed room. Um, this body lotion is on the counter. It looks like it was supposed to maybe be mounted, but it is not, there's no place to mount it. And then when you walk in, you've got this full length mirror, which is great. This. Um, this room has a ton of mirrors, which is really nice. And as you'll see, this room is really spacious. And I'll, um, after I show you kind of all of like the storage stuff, I'll show you what the room looks like with the bed pulled out. And you'll see that even with the bed pulled out, there's a ton of space. So you've got all of this space in between where your kind of coffee table, which also you can flip this over both sides. Um, and that will give you storage. This one, I think. Um, oh, well, not really. That one's really not supposed to be like this, but I guess if you wanted an additional surface, you could do that. Over here, you have the little kitchenette. So you've got your mini fridge, um, Keurig, microwave. These, I, I, I think maybe because this, these rooms are new. This is kind of hard to open, but you've got real glasses in here, real dishes, which is nice. Coffee mugs, little bowls, utensils. And then up above, you've got an ice bucket and toaster. It also comes with the hot cocoa green tea. We had um, an English breakfast tea. So I just plopped one of the French roast in there too. So there wasn't an empty space and it comes with two of these little condiment kits that have like the creamers and the stirrers and the sugar. This over here is actually, so this is another full length mirror, but it's also actually a sliding door to a closet. And it opens pretty easily, but this has kind of been stiff too, I'll show you. So there's a, a light switch there for this closet. We've got some painted animation. We put one of our suitcases in here, some, put some of our snacks and, and random things here. And now you'll see this, oh, well, it's going a little bit more easily. No, it, get, it gets a little stuck. So you really have to kind of push it over. Might need some WD-40 or something. And then you've got 
this closet over here. Whoop, pillows are falling out at me. So that's where they store the extra bedding. We've used it already. So that's why the pillow fell out. You have your safe, two shelves. There's a steam iron over here. You've got your ironing board and then collapsible laundry basket. If you wanna see where the laundry room is, you can check out the resort tour that we will be posting. And there's the TV. You've got six drawers over here and the, the drawers are not that deep. So I kind of did one outfit on each side. So here's an outfit, here's an outfit. Just to give you an idea of how much it fits. And then down here, you've got some more shelf space and then storage underneath the bed for my big suitcase. Um, these, en these end tables, these do not open. I mean, I don't, I've tried. This whole thing is kind of mounted to the wall. I think that's more decorative than it is useful. It has the shelf, but either side of the bed has um, the outlets and the USB. This is a, reading lamp and then this is the switch here for the backlit headboard which is really pretty on this side next to the dresser there's like a little bench that you can sit down on to put your sneakers on it's basically what I did in order to throw your bags and then this standard view I've seen a couple of videos where the the views aren't great but I think for a standard view, this is pretty good. It's just sort of a residential area. And with the shears closed, you kind of are just seeing the, um, the palm trees, which is kind of cool. And you've got your Sleeping Beauty artwork. There's another mirror over there. You can order room service here. So this is the in-room dining menu. This is if you want to order breakfast, you can hang this on your door um, before 11 p.m. and then they'll bring you breakfast. And then when we checked in, this was waiting for us, a little gift. A drawing of the DVC Tower, Castle, Steamboat Willie. So that was pretty cute. So yeah, so overall this room is very spacious, has a lot of light coming in very practical and i'll show you now what it looks like with the murphy bed pulled out um, when we're ready for bed i almost forgot to show you the uh, room in the bathroom with the commode um, but it's just you've got a towel rack in here with your towels artwork and then the toilet and this is what i was talking about before this had um, an extra roll of toilet paper in it. So we just moved it in here, like I said, to clear up that shelf space and to have the toilet paper where you need it when you run out. So on to bedtime. And this is what the room looks like with the Murphy bed pulled down. As you can see, there is still a ton of space in between the dresser and the end of the bed. And we're in a Sleeping Beauty themed room, so we've got the Sleeping Beauty artwork above the bed. There's also a light that shines down. Um, so you can see up there, the switch is right here and there's USB and regular outlets there. We moved the the um, what's like the coffee table slash, slash cubes that have more storage over here. And because our studio has a little bit of a different layout, I don't know if that would work in regular studios, but it works really nicely here because we can still close the bathroom door all the way and get that out of the way so that it's not here at the end of the bed um, blocking anything. You don't have to slide it in between the beds so that if there's two people sleeping in that bed, people can get in and out on either side with ease. And a feature that I love about these rooms is that they have, it has this backlit headboard artwork of the castle. 
and those reading lights next to the bed. So it's really pretty. Um, if you had a pack and play, you'd easily be able to fit one here at the end of the bed or even fit one here in between that bench and, and this bed. So as you can see, even with the Murphy bed pulled out, this room is extremely spacious and really airy and, and really bright, even when you have the blinds, uh, uh, the curtains drawn and it's dark out because you have all of these different lighting options, like the mirror, just so many mirrors in this room because you've got that mirror there um, that's blocking the that one side of the closet. You've got that mirror and then you have this full length mirror over here, as well as that amazing window uh, mirror that I showed you already in the bathroom. So that'll do it. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions, if you've stayed in one of these, um, but give us a like, um, subscribe, and until next time, we'll DVC you real soon.